I used some of my recent favorites to create this monochromatic look. Let's get into it. I think Tint by Calorie has become my absolute favorite face product that I have found lately. It is just beautiful. It just blends into the skin like an absolute dream. And when it fully sinks in and everything, it's just undetectable. So one of my favorite lip mask balm, I don't even know, Plush Puddins. Intention, the Intensive Recovery Lip Masks. These are by Fenty Skin. What drew me to them was the packaging, actually. They're quite innovative. Take off the top and you click the bottom. See how it's clicking? And it comes out the top like that. I don't know, I just think that's so cool. Ever since I first got this, it's been on heavy rotation. It is a beautiful, beautiful, natural looking bronzer. It's the Catrice Sun Melted Cream Bronzer in the shade Beach Babe, which I believe is their lightest shade. It's so good. It's just so good. So powder bronzer is going to have to go to LYS. No limits matte bronzer. LYS is killing it lately. This is going to come as no surprise to anybody, but the Catrice Under Eye Brightener. I have tried many, but I'm always going back to this one. It's amazing. This is the same brand that does that cream bronzer. They are legit. These NYX Pro Fix Sticks. Yeah, these are amazing. I have a few of these. This is my concealer shade, which is Vanilla. Haven't been able to put this one down since I tested it. This is the Milk Makeup for Eclipse Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is extremely blurring. Blushes is a really hard choice for me right now because I've really been obsessed with blushes recently. But one of them is One Size Cheek Clapper, the shade Attention Seeker, which is this trio of pinks, cream, powder, and then this is like a highlighty shade. I'm actually going to use this on my eyes too because I'm using the cream blush. It's Danessa Myrick's, what is this called? Yummy Skin something. I think it's like a blush balm. It is so beautiful. I'm going for very pink today because my shirt. <laughs> Don't forget my nose. If anybody ever noticed that I do that, nobody ever says anything. Kind of bring it up. I know that like 80s up blush is coming back, but only very lightly. I remember if you put their blush up there and it'd be like, me. She's a beauty. Now I'm going to top it with the powder. Aren't you beautiful? And also set the nose. Probably overdid it, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna sweep some of this pink on my lid. Oh, pink. Put this shimmery shade all over the lid. It's pretty. It has like this iridescent -y kind of whatever. Now I'm gonna take Rare Beauty Highlighter in Mesmerize. Definitely been a favorite ever since I got it. Uh, look at that. That is just beautiful. I mean, how can you argue with this? Looks really good on the nose, too. Y'all like my shirt today? Mm. Digging the monochromatic look. I'm very glow today. Mm. So it's really hard for me to pick up brow products right now because I've tried so many recently that have been absolutely fantastic. This is a great drugstore option if you're looking for one. They have it in different shades. It's NYX Thick It Stick It. In my opinion, they have the best brow products that the drugstore has to offer. Do not sleep on NYX. So I have loved Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High, the regular black one for years. It's an absolutely beautiful drugstore mascara. If you are looking for one, they have black, brown, and they release all these beautiful colors. I tried blue the other day. I have pink, which I've yet to try, which maybe I should have done tonight, but I really thought that this burgundy would be pretty fire. Or should I do the pink? Okay, so I'm doing both. I really don't like any shade more than the other, but these ColourPop Lippy pencils are incredible. They're creamy. I got a huge pack of them for like $25 in all kinds of nude and pink shades. Loving this pink moment today. My favorite lipstick shade as of late is Urban Decay Naked Cream. It is this like pinky nude. It looks great with pink lip liner or nude lip liner. My favorite setting spray lately, this is Sephora. Just make makeup setting spray. Oh. My favorite scent as of recently, Amber Haze by Fleur. It is incredible. I've been reaching for it a lot. Uh, this brand Fleur makes amazing scents. Mm, so good. Anyway, I'm loving this monochromatic look. What do you guys think? 
you think of the monochromatic trend. I think it's a moment. Mm, I just love pink. Love you guys.